1,800 metres in front of them. They're set and away and racing to a good beginning for them over here. It was a nice start and Queen Bomi appears to be the one going off to the lead with Pretty and Pearls. Quasi's Lady from a deep draw is tucking in and it's just searching to get closer towards the rail there. Down along the inside, Three Strands has a good early position. Memorial Day is wider out and Devilish Dancer passes horses too. Then came Summer Fling, racing with Summer Land towards the rear end of the field as Devilish Dancer got taken even wider out. Quasi's Lady is racing second to last with last cheer at the back end of the field and there's seven, eight lengths covering them. As they run past the 1400 metres mark and Pretty in Pearls and the club black with the blue cap led it to Muzzy Yeni dictating matters out here by just over a length from Memorial Day and three strands. Two lengths away then to Queen Bomi who hugs the rail. And racing outside of that is Summerland. Devilish Dancers had a horrible trip on the outside. It's not travelling that well either. Behind them came Summer Fling. Here's the favourite Quasi's Lady, just six lengths off the leader. And last year is towards the back end now as Devilish Dancer drops out to last. They're about to be homeward bound, come past the 800 metre marker. And out in front is Pretty in Pearls, led it by a length and a half here for Memorial Day in second. Three strands along the inside. Then came Queen Bomi. Behind that is Summerland. Quasi's Lady's got four five lengths to make up, going to make its way through between runners, down along the inside of Summer Fling and last year has hooked towards the outside of the track as they head on down now into the last 400 metres and Pretty and Pearl still the leader, led it here from three strands, Quasi's ladies coming home down the centre, last year's on the outside with Memorial Day and Queen Bomi's back towards the inside, 200 out, Pretty and Pearl's the leader, along the inside is three strands, Quasi's lady is getting the hang of things on the outside and coming home strongly, it's still Pretty and Pearl's, Quasi's ladies trying to come home. Quasi's Lady's gonna get there, I think. Here it comes. Yes, I think it did it. Quasi's Lady just from Pretty and Pearls. Third to three strands last year, fourth. Then came Memorial Day and Summerland behind that devilish dancer who did not enjoy it. So Quasi's Lady has come home strongly to just edge out Pretty and Pearls on the line here. Uh, literally on the line. It's a double for Alec Laird. Well done to the connections. This is, these are Gary Basil's colours. So Gary's had a double here today. And it's going to be Quasi's Lady. Very hard to uh, make it four wins in a row. But uh, Siyanda's eventually got there, much to the relief of a lot of punters out there who bank it on her winning today. She's a, dun a daughter, rather, of Coup de Grasse out of the Mayor Sublime Lady. And well done to the Kangra Group PTY Limited who bred Quasi's Lady, who never looked like winning except on the line. Quasi's Lady beats Pretty in Pearls. Third will go to three strands. And the fourth placing to last chair. The favourite punters are back in it here. Yeah, you've got to say an unbelievable ride from Sianda Sosibo. It's Quasi's Lady. And at the off, very generous, 16 to 10. Uh, drifted from 6 to 10. You did hear from Alec Laird that the horse was in a good space back at home and they were hoping that she could obviously con do, go and do it again. Uh, what's that? Four wins on the bounce. Daughter of Coup de Gras. Well done to Alec Laird on his double today. He's had two runners, two winners, and of course, two Gary Basil. He'll be a very happy man. I'm sure there's a few doubles that have landed with Atticus Finch. Siyanda, I'm going to say a terrific ride. I've been asked by many people, please give that man a hug on live television, great ride. I tell you, even though it's a, a normal Saturday meeting, everybody just erupted as you hit the line because you had got there at the right time. And I mean, she's just a wonderful mare, isn't she? Very much. Um, in a race, like at the, at the top of the straight, um, she, I was very confident because I felt that I had so, so much underneath me. So I just had to put my trust on her and then she, she did run very well for me. Yeah, look, I mean, you were cruising. I said, oh, she's going to get it right today again because, I mean, you gave her the perfect ride. You went in to try and keep her bottled up for as long as possible, pulled her out at the right time, and we know she gives a beautiful kick. 100%, because um, even just a, a big thank you to Mr. Lid and uh, credit to Caden because he told me how to ride the horse. He just told me that if you you give her double taps, that's when she responds much quicker because at the first, when I pulled out my stick, I gave her one and she kind of took time to get into it, yeah. but once I gave her those double taps, then she got the momentum to get to the line. Well, Siander, you've made a lot of people happy. Well done over here. Thank you very much. Just a big thank you to Mr. Lid. Uh, the horse was well prepped, pre well prepped. All credit to him and uh, 
big thank you to the academy and the riding masters and uh, thank you to my sponsors have a shame park farm oh and well done to the owners yeah absolutely gary basil and the family well done siander thank you very much sir. lovely there we go good ride siander sosibo well done mr laird that's a double for you today and i mean two very nice horses good one from her again today yeah she's um look we, we we're gonna keep her in training for a year she seems to got stronger but she's gonna go up in the weight so probably get a bit harder she only got there today but i sure did and she was claiming two and a half but um, yeah, we'll see if we can get blacked up for her as a, as a five-year-old and then she can go to stud. Yeah, and I mean, what were your emotions? I mean, I thought oh. everything was right and then that last, but I thought, okay, she's going to run second. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought the post was going to come too soon, but uh, she fought for it and well done to, to see under he timed it perfectly. I think she's been an absolute gem. And to race her with, with Gary, we, 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 um, he, he supported me all along and, and this filly had to... He didn't want to come in being my coup de grace and what, what, but he did me a favour and now she's returning the favour. That's four on the bounce, Mr. Led. Well done. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Good to see you as always. So. Lunch is on you. Well done, Mr. Led. Lovely to see you, sir. I've actually seen you a few times in the airports and we've made icons <laughs> and we like we know each other, we don't know each other. Yeah. Well done. I mean, what a place to officially say hello and uh, I mean, she's just been magnificent. Yeah, thanks, Brandon. Great to be on course. First of all, well done to Mr. Laird. He's really kept this fully sound. Um, four in the bounce. It's very nice to be with my dad and Alec. And owning that four in a row is always good. And well done to Alec and my dad who are in partnership together. Um, it's always fun to race together. The box was erupting, screaming there. And a good ride by the jock as well. I think he timed it perfectly and got her home. Yeah, I mean, tell me a little bit about what was actually happening in that box. Because, I mean, I was just watching the grandstand that last 200 metres because it looked like she was going to go on by. And then I thought, oh, the post is coming. But, I mean, when she hit the line, everybody, it was like it was a grade one. Yeah, look, there were some nerves up there. Um, guys had to watch the replay again, but I was quite confident that we got it on the line. So chuffed to have another victory with her. Land a few doubles? Well, there's a couple running. Let's see what happens. And also, uh, just a hello to my grandmother from Valcom who's watching today. She doesn't watch too often, so nice that she sees us have a victory today. Guys, good to see you as always. Long Thanks. may it continue. Please coming back to the course. Uh, this is what we need. We need this bug to bite. And uh, you guys are wonderful people, so well done. Super, thanks, Brandon. There we go. Cheers. Gary Basil, well done. I'm hoping that um, he's hit them clean off their feet. Atticus Finch into Quasi's Lady. And uh, she's certainly done nothing wrong today. She's now a six-time winner from 21 outings. I'm going to get uh, the lovely World Sports betting ladies to come a little bit closer to me. And we can get the camera onto the 1,500 Rand. Thanks to Moffitt. That's the second 1,500 round that will be going to the team. And, uh, yeah, the gorgeous world sports betting ladies on either side to make sure that that will go into the right hands. All right, thank you very much. That's race number five, Quasi's Lady. Many punters will be happy with that performance. We look forward to race six as we start with the last day of Goodwood. That's just about to get underway.